everyone, today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. I've been doing a lot of voiceover videos lately. Those aren't as fun to film, so I'm excited to just sit down and blabble away. Also, I'm sorry if the lighting changes throughout this video because I'm sitting in front of a window and using natural light because for some reason my eyes decided to be very sensitive today. So every time I sit in front of the studio lights, my eyes just start burning. So hopefully the sun doesn't hate me today and it will stay like this. Oh god, is that gonna be annoying? Yeah, I apologize in advance for that as well. That might be distracting. My first favorite would have to be this face sponge right here. This is the first time I've ever used one of these sponges. Normally I just use my fingers or like a soft face brush, but I really like it because it's the perfect amount of soft and rough. So it gets deep into your pores and really scrubs off all of the dirt and makeup, but it's not like harshly exfoliating your skin. The only thing that sucks is because it's from Julep, I don't think I could buy it in stores anywhere. If I want to purchase a new one, I would have to do it online, which is kind of annoying. So let me know if you guys know of any companies that sell similar sponges like this, because that would be lovely. My next favorite would have to be these sandals from Target. And I actually got these when I was in Florida during Playlist Live, which was in March but I also love them throughout April. They're a little bit fancier, but they're still very casual. So I found myself wearing them a lot um, throughout this month. But yeah, I really like these because they're just a chestnut brown color and then they have this really cute gold strap with a black strap in the back. They're really cute, affordable, and match with a lot of my things, so love them. My next favorite would have to be the Sexy Hair Spray Clay, and this is a texturizing spray clay. I got this a while back, so I've probably talked about it before, but I really like substituting this for my hairspray because I feel like this stuff gives my hair, like, just, why not? I feel like it gives my hair a really nice, textured, kind of beachy look, and it gives a lot of volume as compared to um, the hairsprays that I currently own. Okay, and it smells really good too. I feel uneven, I have to spray it on the other side now. So I've been using this pretty much every single time I curl my hair, and I'm definitely buying the full size once I run out of this. My next favorite is the Nivea Lip Butter again, but this is a different scent flavor. It is the Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss, which um, I'm still pretty new to these. I tried them for the first time last month, and you guys saw how much I am obsessed with it. I literally use this maybe eight times a day, I don't know, but it's incredible, it's life-changing, and I like this one a lot more than the raspberry one because it's all white, so it just lightly tints your lips lighter, and it smells so good. Oh my god, I could sit here and smell it all day. Seriously guys, if you have never tried the Nivea lip butters, you need to. They're so good! My next two favorites I'm actually wearing on my wrist right now. The first one is a Michael Kors watch, and if you told me about a month ago that I would be purchasing my own Michael Kors watch, I would have laughed because I never liked them. I wasn't really a fan of them. I always thought they were cute, but I just never thought it was my style. Like picture it, Claudia wearing watches. Do you guys see it? Because I never did. But when I saw this watch, I instantly fell in love. I think it's really cool and unique because it's two-toned, so it has silver and gold in it. So it will obviously match with whatever jewelry you're wearing with it but yeah I think it has the perfect amount of sparkles and diamonds on it and it's simple but still very unique and cute along with my Michael Kors watch I've been wearing this Pandora bracelet a ton if you guys have been watching some of my past videos and if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter you would obviously know that I was on a cruise um, this past month with Pandora jewelry and Megan Ranks here on YouTube that trip is also one of my favorites because it was amazing but yeah Pandora let us customize our own bracelets so I went with this two-toned bracelet that has a gold clasp and I think these are called Rockstar Clips yeah, so I got those in silver and then I just have gold spacers in between. So I think these two pieces really complement each other because they both have the whole two-tone thing going on. So overall, I've just really been loving this combo for the month of April. I'm sorry. While we're... Blah. While we're on the topic of my cruise trip, I also have one other favorite from there. And it would have to be my... 
GoPro camera. This sucker is so cool. I've been wanting one of these for the longest time, but I just never had like a full on reason to buy one. And I always just kind of thought it was a waste of money. But Megan and I got to go on a bunch of different excursions and adventures that were perfect for the GoPro. But I also got this chest strap, which is really cool. You just kind of hook it around your body and then it sits directly in the middle of your chest. So it's nice because you don't have to carry it around or anything. I actually took this camera with me while I was going down the world's longest zip line in Haiti. So if you guys wanna watch that video, I uploaded it onto my second channel. I'll have it linked right here as well as in the down bar, but that video turned out really cool. If you guys wanna see the quality of this camera and you know how much you get to see in the shot, then that video is a perfect example. But overall, I'm loving it. My next favorite, would definitely have to be my number one favorite of the month and it is a purse it's a very expensive purse so before I show it to you guys I quickly just want to state that I paid for this bag 100% with my own money I did not ask for any money from my parents or anything and I've also been wanting a nice designer quality black bag for the longest time that would just match to all of my outfits and would be perfect for any occasion so I know that this bag is going to last my entire life honestly and it was love at first sight when I saw it let's all just take a moment of silence to look at it okay all right I'm gonna put it down now I know you guys got really excited <laughs> All right, I'm totally kidding. But honestly, I am so in love with this bag. I think it just screams Claudia so much. Like, if I was a bag, I would be this bag. <laughs> So this bag is a small Antigona Givenchy in all black. I don't know what the name of the color is, but it's the one that's matte. You can also purchase like a shinier one. It's, oh my God, it's just beautiful. If you guys are interested in a updated What's My Purse video featuring my bag, then you can let me know by liking this video. So if you guys want that, I can most definitely film an updated one for you guys. Two peas in a pod. My next favorite for the month of April would have to be a tea. And this is the passion fruit papaya flavor from the Republic of Tea Company. This is definitely one of my favorite brands. I've never tried a flavor that I don't like. So the way that they describe it is a fine black tea blended with papaya, pineapple, and blossoms. Not quite sure if it beats the ginger peach flavor. That is probably my number one favorite from this brand. But, oh wait. I don't know. See, it's such a close tie. It smells so good. It's very sweet and tropical-y, so it makes me feel like I'm on vacation when I drink it. Oh, it's just so good. I'm going to have like five cups once I finish filming. My next favorite is also food related, and it is garlic salt. This has got to be one of the weirdest favorites that I've ever featured. But recently, I have just become obsessed with this stuff. I sprinkle this on everything. Not even kidding. I love eating grilled and steamed vegetables, so I always like to sprinkle a little bit of this on there. I also use this to season salmon, any type of seafood, shrimp. Before I cook it, I just sprinkle some on and mix it up. I literally put this on everything. Like, that's not an exaggeration. I love garlic. I love salt. So put them together and I'm a happy camper. So if you guys haven't tried this before, oh my God, I don't know what you're doing. You need to try it. Now my hands are all greasy. My next favorite is a gum flavor and it is the Trident Limited Edition Jelly Bean Gum. See, I thought the Stride Sour Patch Gum was amazing, but this gum is really a game changer for me. It tastes exactly like jelly beans. In my opinion, it tastes mostly like the watermelon flavor, which coincidentally is my favorite jelly bean flavor. So I really, really love this stuff. And also it's just so cute and attractive looking. So why wouldn't you want to buy it? I don't know. My next favorite would have to be an app, and I'm not sure if any of you guys have heard it. It's definitely new and not very popular, but it is called Instagram. It's I-N-S-T-A-G-R-A-M. Yeah. Obviously, I'm just kidding, but starting at the beginning of April, I actually started getting more into Instagram because I've always loved it. I love looking at different people's Instagrams and stuff, but as far as posting goes, I would only post like 
maybe once or twice a week. But starting the beginning of April, I decided that I want to be a little bit more social on that site. And now I am completely obsessed. I post at least once a day. So if you guys did not know that I have an Instagram, I will be sure to link it down there. And now I'm sitting here giving myself a shameless promotion for five minutes straight. <laughs> Go follow me on Instagram. Seriously. Next up, I've got a few music favorites, and like always, I do not prepare them, so I'm just gonna go through my Spotify and find out what my favorites are with you guys. My first favorite song would have to be Wait by M83. Um, it's definitely a slower song, but I love listening to very calming and slow music, so let me just play a little for you guys. Yeah, so I really like the melody of that song, and I also really like Signs by Block Party. I really like the xylophone in the beginning of the song. It's um, I've also really been loving Shells of Silver by the Japanese pop stars. Yeah, so I've really been obsessed with that song, BTSTU edit, and it's by J. Paul. The lyrics are actually very lovely in this song. I really like that song. But that is actually it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun filming this video for you guys. So be sure to like this video if you guys want me to do an updated What's My Purse video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.